Lord, don't you see these circumstances? Lord, do you see the woman you gave me? Lord, do you see this man? Do you see this man, G? Do you see this man? Lord, can you just see this man? Lord, do you see what's going on on the job? Do you see what I got to go through with every day? Lord, do you see this paycheck? How am I going to get a house with this paycheck? Lord, do you see? Shut up! In God, circumstances. <laughs> circumstances don't matter. Circumstances. Shando Circumstances. Don't matter. Do you know, I know I got on national Christian television in a storefront with no staff. I had two people on staff. That's no staff for television. I got on national television with one tape duplicator. I got on national television with $8,000, I think it was, in the bank. You can't pay for a 30 seconds, 30 minute show with $8,000, one show. I got on national television, nobody knew who I was. I didn't come from a big church, I didn't come from a big pastor, I didn't even come from a big city. But when God opens up a door, circumstances. Oh, I wish I had some faith in here this morning. I wish I had some faith in here this morning. I wish I had some faith in here this morning. Ah, yeah. Flop your neighbor and tell them circumstances don't matter. We all have things that we're believing for, dreams that we want to accomplish, problems we're hoping will turn around. Maybe it's to see our family restored, to lose some weight, to break an addiction, to start our own business. But sometimes as it goes on, month after month, even year after year, we don't see anything changing. It's easy to get discouraged and think, it's never gonna happen. This is as good as it gets. I'll just learn to live with it. We all go through disappointments, setbacks, loss. Pain is a part of life. It's easy to get discouraged, even bitter. Think, why is this happening to me? Sometimes we look at pieces in our lives that don't make sense. The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. Every painful time, even though you don't like it, it's developing something in you that can only be developed in the tough times. Eventually, that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. In those tough times, when you're uncomfortable, going through a loss, dealing with an illness, you could easily let it overwhelm you. Now, how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. I may not like it, but I'm not a whiner. I'm a warrior. I know I can handle this. Don't complain about the pain. Without the pain, we couldn't reach the fullness of our destinies. Sometimes we bring pain on ourselves. We make poor choices, get in a relationship we know is not good, or maybe get over our head in our spending. Now it's painful. We're having to deal with the consequences. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. 
That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. Difficulties are a part of life. Now quit telling yourself you can't take it. You're not weak. You are well able. Eventually the pain will pass. You'll give birth to new strength. Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. There will always be forces trying to convince us to settle where we are. Life has a way of pushing our dreams down. They can become buried under discouragement, buried under past mistakes. There are dreams buried under divorce, buried under low self-esteem. It's easy to settle for mediocrity even though we have all this potential buried on the inside. What are you remembering? The hurt? The pain, what didn't work out, turn it around and remember your dream. Have you allowed any dreams to get buried in you? At one time, you believed you could do something great. You believed you could lead the company in sales. You believed you could break that addiction. But it's been a long time, had some bad breaks, it wasn't all your fault. You could easily settle where you are, nobody would fault you. The enemy would love to deceive you into burying your dream, thinking that it's never going to work out. Don't believe those lies. It's not too late to become all that you were created to be. Every time you remember your dream, you're removing some dirt. You're digging it back out. The true mark of a champion is even though some dirt gets thrown on your dream, instead of letting it get buried, you keep shaking it off. You keep moving forward. You wouldn't be having that opposition if you didn't have something great in you. If your dream wasn't alive and on track, right on schedule to come to pass, you wouldn't have so many things coming against you. That dream is still alive. You may have tried a year ago, five years ago, or 40 years ago. Didn't work out. Nobody was there to help you. Go back and try again. This is your time. This is your moment. Your destiny is calling out to you. Can I tell you, your dream is not dead. It's just not in season. Your time is coming. Promotion is coming. Good breaks are coming. Promises you've been standing on. Dreams you've been praying about. Lack is not your destiny. Constantly struggling, barely getting by, is not the end of your story. These light afflictions are for a moment. The adversity is temporary. The glory is eternal. There are some dreams shut up in you. Like fire, you're going to feel your destiny calling out. May not have happened the first time. The loan didn't go through. You didn't get chosen for the part. The medical report wasn't good. That's okay. It's still in you. This is your time. This is your moment. Shake off the doubt. Shake off the negativity. You're at the right place. You're at the right time. Now all you've got to do is get in the right frame of mind. Lord, I believe this is my year to get healthy and whole. This is my year to meet the people of my dreams. This is my year to go further in my career to step into a new level of my destiny. This is my year to accomplish dreams, to break free from this depression. This is my year to meet the right people. This is my year to get healthy and whole. This is your year to see double. This is your year for vindication, for restoration, for new beginnings. Now get your mind going in the right direction. 